What's good, y'all? It's your boy Mars. We're back at it again with another video. So today we're just going to work. We're chilling. We're relaxing. Going to the thrift, um, and just kind of letting the day vibe out a little bit because it's the middle of the week. So I really don't know what to do other than just do my regular daily schedule. But I still want to push out some content for you and see that my life isn't always just thrifting and putting on clothes and hooping. Or I am going to thrift and hoop today. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, I just want to say God is good. God is great. Stand and be where your feet are. Where your feet are, that's the present. The present is a gift. Never, 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 never not appreciate the present and your gift in the moment of just being where you are in life because part of enjoying your success in the future is knowing what it take what it took for you to get there and knowing what it takes so you can um, appreciate it more it gives that much more value to the goals that you want to achieve whenever you know that you've been through something or you went through a lot or went through anything at all to even reach that point in your life. Whether it's just, you know what I'm saying, completing a small goal in the morning by waking up five minutes earlier each day. Or, you know what I'm saying, just getting to work on time for a whole week straight. Or even just um, worshiping, singing along, finding a song that you love and you enjoy, enjoy that praises God. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't know if I have any spiritual um, subscribers or followers on any of my platforms, but I'm not going to um, front like I'm not a spiritual person, but I am. So that's just something that I want to be transparent with. And uh, I praise God every morning. I, I should have tried to do it that the first the first thing I do when I wake up and the last thing I do when I go to, before I go to sleep at night is um thank god every day because today is not promised and either is tomorrow and even if you do wake up in the morning the whole day is not promised because at any moment you can be gone just like that so praise god thank him thank god for every moment you have in your life thank god for the ups the downs the the peaks the valleys and even the the plateaus where everything just feels stagnant because that is also teaching you growth and teaching you that sometimes when you don't move in a, a certain direction, you're still at a steady standpoint to where you feel kind of com comfortable and complacent and you're like, you're not um, unhappy there, but you're not your happiest there. So it's just uh, sometimes people like being there. But if you want to go up, just know that there's going to be some bumps and sharp edges to give to that mountaintop because if the mountain was smooth you just slide down constantly you know what i'm saying but like i said stand where your feet are be present know where your feet are on the mountaintop yes you're reaching for a goal but you also need to know where your feet are going to be because your feet are your is your next step your next step is the most important step even though you need to be present where you are now you can't get to where you want to go if you don't know where you've been so be where your feet are, because here is holy.
Soon as I start worrying, worrying how the story ends, I let go and I let God, let God have his way, and that's when things start happening. And I stop looking at back then I let go And I let God Let God have his way Let go You better let God So oh, it is about 8.30 And I gotta go get my clothes from the washer I don't have a washer and dryer at the crib so mm. And then I gotta go to Target because I forgot we have a potluck tomorrow at work. And I got a busy day tomorrow, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go get it right now. Uh, I had to go get some Sprites for a potluck. Apparently, I think we're having lasagna. But yeah, I kind of forgot. So I might go to take a little Target run. I wasn't going to the corner store, but I feel like going to Target because I gotta wait for my clothes to dry anyway. So I gotta keep myself busy, stay awake, you know what I'm saying? Kind of tired right now, but I feel like if I go to Target, I'm gonna feel I'm gonna feel better by myself. Not better by myself, but uh, just better about being up and being active. And I can take you with me. So let's get it. I lose control and something takes over me. All right, y'all. So I plan on moving out of my apartment when my lease ends. My lease ends in July. Or August, one of those. But I, I moved here in July, August. And don't get me wrong, I love my apartment, but I feel like it's just, it's not the apartment that I want at the moment. I kind of settled um, because I, I, I have a terrible habit of trying to find you know, a place to live at the last minute. So I kind of settled for not just anything, but I settled for the first thing available that um that I like but um and sometimes things that I love aren't available until months out so I need to start um looking at a a lot a lot earlier than what I usually do but uh so yeah but my new apartment has to my next apartment next crib has to have a um washing and dryer because not having a washing and dryer makes me really lazy and makes me not want to wash my clothes for real and one reason why I haven't bought one is because I haven't wrapped my mind around the fact that I actually live in the city and I'm probably going to be here for a little bit or I have been here for a little bit but I never thought I was going to stay here this long you know what I'm saying but it is what it is. Um, so I'm just thugging it right now. Like it is pouring rain outside. I just wanna go home and go to sleep. But this drive takes about 40 minutes. So like I said, I'm gonna go um, get this soda from Target. I could go to the store. But I'm gonna go to Target just to, I don't know, Target makes me feel good. <laughs> I like Target. Um, I'm gonna go to Target real quick, pass time by, maybe grab a bite to eat. I'm kinda hungry. I just worked out. Um, I just worked out and then, uh, yeah, and then come get my clothes and go home and go to sleep. But yeah. I've been walking Alright, something I've been wanting to do Is just get my, my decor right in my crib In my apartment But I feel like I have I have a lot of great um, pieces As far as furniture goes When it comes to what I need My like essential, like necessity essentials um, cause of course I do want to upgrade my, everything that I do have, but the one thing that I need is a couch, like a legit couch 
that I love, you know what I'm saying? Cause I have a couch right now, but I have, it's a futon that I had in my last apartment, which is just a studio apartment. So I really didn't need a couch like that cause it's one space, you know what I'm saying? But I brought it over to my new apartment cause I didn't have a couch yet, but with the intention of buying a couch when I first moved in and I never bought a couch. So I come in here sometimes just thinking about the next apartment, not even thinking about the one I have now, but my next one my like my dream apartment quote unquote you know what i'm saying not even just dream apartment just dream space but yeah good of the day but yeah so i'm kind of just walking around right now I don't see nothing crazy. All I see is a bunch of plants that catch my eye. Of course, they're fake. Some of them are real. But I just ordered some plants. Um, and I just got some new plants. Sorry, I don't need any plants right now. Plants? Plants are expensive. Like, they're expensive. Yes, I know it's like you're buying a life, technically, because it's a living organism. So I guess that's where the... That's where the expense comes because somebody had to grow it from the seed, you know what I'm saying, for you to buy it, which takes time. So I understand it, but I don't like it. I wish plants were cheap, mainly because I don't know how to take care of them the right way. So a lot of plants that I have tend to die. Uh, only one plant has ever died for me, but that's beside the point. I look he collect these things. My girl says I need to stop collecting them, but, cause they take up nothing but space. But what y'all think? I think they're pretty cool. Especially like the ones that I used to watch, like the shows I used to watch as a youngin. But let me keep moving forward. I don't need none of it today. The computer. So I just came across the candy aisle and I know I need to buy some candy for my students, for my good students, the ones who act right because it is a great incentive when it comes to trying to um, get them to do their work. So let's get some candy. I have a Should I get the Twix? Is buy one, get one half off. It's about one, get one half off. So should I get the Twix? The Kit Kats? The Kit Kats and the Snickers? Or the Snickers and the Twix? I think I'm gonna do these two. Snickers and Twix. Can I do the eight count nuggets, please? Number three, the meal. And you said no drink? No, the, the meal, please, so I do want a drink. Okay. Um, can I can I do a lemonade with no ice in it? But can I make it a large? Anything else for you tonight? Um, can I have Chick-fil-A Chick sauce and uh, sweet and spicy sriracha? 
Okay. And that'll be a. Yeah, it'll be ten forty nine to window. Can you repeat my order, please? It's a eight count nugget, the meal, a large lemonade, no ice, just a lace sauce, some spicy sriracha. Yes, ma'am. Ten forty nine to window. Thank you. Stand up. Do I hear freedom calling? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can feel it in my bones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, I just seen that the first part of my footage was cut off. But. I'm back from Target, getting my clothes, and going home so I can eat this food. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Mm My knees hurt so bad. Right now. It's raining outside, so like the weather is the weather is making my age show and my knee surgeries and all this basketball just Alright now let's see how long it takes me to finally fold these clothes when I get home. I give it like probably about four or five days. Today is Wednesday. I probably fold them by Sunday. But let's get it. 